Welcome to the HSCL Roadshow, a three-month road trip where we'll be traveling the country in an RV to teach 25 high schools how to build PCs. And when we leave each school, we leave behind six gaming computers so that they can start their own esports team. Huge thanks to the Army National Guard, ASUS, Intel, and Extreme Networks for sponsoring this series. On this trip, we have me and Maya, who is our campaign manager, Nick, our videographer, and me, Connor, the commissioner of the High School Esports League. Three gamers, a giant camper, and a bunch of computers. Today we're in Paloma Valley High School here in California to build them some gaming computers. This is a really cool day. We also have Intel here. They've sent out some photographers and videographers to shoot it as well. So it's gonna be really cool working with them. It's about 12.30, students should be showing up any minute. Uh, we're supposed to start at one and then we're gonna to get to building all of these amazing computers. <laughs> Kevin's always the highlight. I'm in there, I'm in there now. Okay. Good Good on. <laughs> okay. Good among us quotes. <laughs> My name is Noah Connolly. I am the esports advisor and I'm also a physics and chemistry teacher here at Paloma Valley. The thing that led me to become the esports advisor would have to be my passion for gaming and video gaming as well. I grew up as a gamer and once I found out that Paloma Valley was getting an esports club on campus, I knew that that was something that I wanted to take and be a part of. Um, and that's where I'm, I found my passion with it because of that. My favorite part of leading and being a part of the esports club is just being able to share my passion with the students about something that we're both passionate about. Uh, we are all passionate about video games and being able to see video games bring students together and let them make new friends and compete in video games and what they're passionate about is something that's been extremely rewarding for me. Uh, with the current COVID situation, it's been a little rough as far as getting started. Um, with it, it actually somewhat helped us because esports was the only thing that was taking place during COVID. Being able to be here for the first time on campus in over a year is extremely meaningful and extremely exciting for me. It's the first time that I'm actually able to meet my students and I'm extremely excited and honored to be able to have this opportunity. The school has been, originally they were pretty hesitant uh, to uh, support us and also to give us funding and stuff like that. You hear that nice, that nice I didn't click. know if I had broken something. <laughs> no, 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 you did, you did good. You heard that nice clicking right. too, man. Yeah, that's cool. Right. That's Since then, uh, we've definitely grown and we've shown how much of an impact we can truly have and with this jump start to our program with the six gaming PCs um, this is going to help us as a district recognize the importance of esports and also aid us in getting the support we need in the future. Um, being able to build computers is something that I personally am going to be learning a lot from because I've never actually built a computer before. I, my first computer is a pre-built um, but I'm going to be paying attention. Some of these students actually are showing me that they're more knowledgeable about this stuff than I am. So um, we do have some students that are extremely knowledgeable about building computers and PCs, but some of them it would be their first time and you never forget your first computer build and I'm extremely looking forward to it. Guys, one, two, three. Um, well, whenever I was in high school at the same high school, I was started off on the Nintendo Wii on World at War. Um, and then eventually that led up to me getting an Xbox 360, an Xbox One, and then recently once I took over eSports, I was like, all right, I need to get myself a gaming PC. So I got myself a gaming PC back in September. I'm mainly a Call of Duty player, first person shooter. Um, I played Smash growing up as well, and um, now that I've taken over esports, I'm starting to try to get more experience with the games that students are interested in and get experience that way as well. Oh, I think I'm uh, Why you guys gotta do me like that? <laughs> I'm trying. I can't let him freestyle. No, no, no. Yep. 
I'm hanging it yeah, up. Put it up. Oh, GG. GG's in the chat. GG's. We'll see you. How do you feel? All right, so we just finished up the build here at Paloma Valley, and I think it went really, really well. All the computers worked, turned on, all the kids were really excited about it, and um, it's just really cool seeing this environment at a high school, like with all these teams and all these different games that you can see in the background. We already got some Smash players playing Smash, and uh, it's just a really fun environment. This is what we're trying to build at every high school, so it's cool to see that they're already kind of a step ahead, and now that they have these computers, they should be able to just take off once they're able to come back to school, and it's gonna be really fun following up with them and just seeing how the program progresses. Good. So we're here in Menifee. Uh, we just finished up the lab. We found an internationally renowned establishment to eat at. Uh, they make pancakes. Our next build's in Glendale, but we have a friend that we're staying with for the weekend. We actually get an off day, so I'm guessing I'm gonna be finding myself some water. So this should be a really exciting time here in California. The unfortunate part is we now have to drive for two hours, so.